Hey, so I wanted to show you my TV Begone jacket. When I go out to eat at a restaurant, I don't really want to watch TV, so I bring this little device that you build as a kit called the TV Begone, uh, but it's a little bit conspicuous. So I decided to embed one in a jacket, and you can see here the LEDs from the TV Begone kit poke out the lapel and can turn off the television. So when I activate it with this switch on the zipper, when the metal zipper pull passes over the two pads of conductive thread, it closes the switch and activates the device, and the circuit board is just underneath the lapel so that all I have to do when I want the TVs to turn off at the restaurant or bar is unzip or zip my jacket. You can pick up a TV Begone kit in the Maker Shed, and you'll also need some conductive thread, some sewing supplies, and standard soldering tools. Solder the TV Begone according to the instructions, but leave off the button, battery holder, and LEDs. While you're over at the soldering station, extend the battery holder's leads with long stranded wire. This will allow you to store the batteries in the jacket's pocket. Use heat shrink tubing to protect your solder joints. You must pick a jacket with a metal zipper pull. If it's painted, use a bit of sandpaper to expose metal along the edge. Hold the circuit board up to the jacket's lapel and mark where the LEDs will be. Poke four holes with an awl and feed the LED leads into the circuit board through the holes in the lapel. Use some tape and bend the leads to hold the LEDs in place while you solder them up. To install the batteries, use a seam ripper to open the pocket lining and feed the battery holder's long wire up to the shoulder seam near the collar. Open up another spot there and run the wire through. Leave plenty of slack for exchanging the battery and stitch up the pocket lining and shoulder seam. I like to provide some strain relief to the wire by coiling it and stitching it in place. Solder the power lines to the circuit board and use a multimeter to confirm they're hooked up correctly. The red terminal goes to power with the plus sign and the black terminal goes to ground. Now it's time for the final step, making the zipper switch. So cut off a long strand of conductive thread and start stitching to the circuit board where the switch is supposed to connect. Stitch an inconspicuous line of thread down to one side of the zipper where you'll accumulate many stitches to form a conductive pad. Those of you familiar with embroidery will recognize this as the satin stitch. Repeat with a parallel trace connecting the other half of the circuit switch to the edge of the zipper. Stitch another pad very close to the previous one so that when the zipper pull goes by, it briefly bridges the connection, closing the circuit. Test the switch with a multimeter or just watch the LEDs through a digital camera, which can pick up the infrared light. Well, it works, now let's go give it a test drive. Great, so now you can enjoy your evening free of TVs. I'll see you next time on the craft video.